Hello everyone! Welcome back to Teacher X. I'm D-Dog Teacher. My class and my music videos are now so I react them on my channel. This is DPR Ian. So, uh, Peanut Butter and Tears is their newest song that just came out. Now, I will say, uh, the whole the, I, the ballroom extravaganza, that album, I did not catch any of that. However, before that, with Nerves and the No Blueberries and Beautiful, or So Beautiful, and all Scaredy Cat, like all of those are on, re I've listened to that so many times that entire little section of songs so many times i'm pretty sure is so beautiful was like number three on my playlist last year when they did the spotify like recap of the number one songs that you listen to the most or whatever so like this is not an artist that i'm unfamiliar with however i haven't heard anything newer from them just because i did not catch any of the ballroom extravaganza stuff i could go back and listen to that i you know what? Might as well start with the new stuff. This is called Peanut Butter and Tears. If you like this video, please click the like button. It makes me feel good about myself. Besides that, I have nothing else to say. Well, uh, subscribe. That's important too. I do remember that there was a bunch of lore. One to the right. To his videos, the usually. One in the middle. Don't pick the middle door. Go to the right. Also, that was definitely a bunch of fairies from Le Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, he got he gets spooky lore every now and then. Something felt different. And a lot more terrifying. His voice was fucking great. Dude, his aesthetic is fucking on point every time. I love it. Also, he's hot as fuck. That's another thing. God, his voice is fucking great. Can sing, dude. Mm. Yeah, this is fucking right up my alley. I love this so much. Oh man, that fucking bass drop right there is great. Such a vibe to him. I love it. I don't care if it was only like two minutes long. Fucking sometimes you can just like, I don't even know if that's the full song or not. It's fucking great either way. Yeah, fucking, I, I love it. I, I am just immediately right there, right there. There we go. Okay, so. One thing I've really liked about his music, especially with like like the songs, I can only comment on the songs that I've listened to, right? Which is Scaredy Cat, So Beautiful, all the that that entire era, is that it's how do I even explain it? It's like emo pop R and B aesthetic, which is fucking great. Like I love all of it, and his voice is like buttery smooth with like everything he does. Like his falsettos is great. Like. And, it, and you know, I say buttery smooth, even though he does definitely have like a rasp to it. Like even when you can tell like right there at the end of that phrase right there, when he said, I think he said I or something, hold on. Eyes. Like you can hear like I, like he's like, like scratching into it, if that makes sense. And it's just, it feels so good. Like the emotion in his voice when he does shit is fucking great. I love listening to that kind of stuff. And like, 
and that's why I freaking loved So Beautiful and Scaredy Cat and all the other stuff. And the cool thing is, like, even though he has, like, his own, which, fun fact, I love it, but his own distinctive sound, there's definitely, like, something fresh about this that I really enjoy. I love the, whatever this is called, R&B pop emo aesthetic that's fucking great. Like, and then there's fucking other stuff. I'm sure there's, like, a... There's like an amount of lore and shit that you can look into it. Cause the whole thing I remember last time that he what do I remember anything from it? I don't know. It was very it's it's spookily fun. I just fucking love it. It's great. It's great. I don't have a lot to say. I'm sorry. I we've been this is the last song on my list to listen to. And I I don't have a lot to say about it. Besides it's fucking great and I just want to listen to it. You know, the cool thing is that, like he has a lot of songs where he does those long notes of his falsetto and stuff. And you think that I would complain about that because he's doing that again in this song. But like that just fucking goes with the vibe, y'all. That goes with his sound. And I really oh, it's it's good. I love the way he pronounces shit when he's singing. too. And I'm sure, I'm sure he does all of this. Like he, the he writes the lyrics. He does all that shit. And I'm sure, like, wasn't there a, a fucking? Uh, no, maybe there wasn't. Let me move it back here. I don't know. Felt like there was some type of, I don't know, captions or whatever. But man, this is good. Dude, his voice is so good. I love listening to that. I'm put. Where's my phone? I'm putting this on playlist too. That's all, that's all I really got. I'm sorry. That's all I have for this one. I usually have more to talk about, but like, I just like, I just wanted to share an artist that I really do enjoy and probably was like my number one or number two artist that I listened. It was definitely my number two or three. Number one was Taman, obviously. We're like, go watch the Taman video. You'll know why. But like number two or number three was definitely him. Cause I, dude, I had So Beautiful and Scaredy Cat on repeat. Like I, so many views, so many listens, so many. But man, fucking great. I like it. Okay, we gotta we gotta stop, or else I'm just gonna sit here and just say nothing but babble on about his good looks and also the sound and just f- fucking it's all great. Ten out of ten. Like, comment, subscribe. That's the quickest outro time we've ever had. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>